branch points are nasty. Just excluding branch points is not enough to make functions continuous. You have to adjust the domain in such a way that you also cannot go around a branch point. And that is a much more severe restriction. How are we going to do that? And does log have more than one branch point? That is what we will learn in this video. So we had our f of z equals log of z. We saw that the origin is a branch point of the log. If we go around the origin in the domain, we end up at an other point in the codomain. So let's look at any other point in the complex plane. So for example, point say one. What happens if we circle around the point one? Well, we start, for example, approximately over here. So what do we see? Well, the log of z is the ln of the modulus of the uh, z plus i times the capital R argument of z. Well, the argument is there about approximately, say, pi over 4. And the modulus is something like, well, uh, square root of 2, something like that. Now, if you continue, then the norm slowly increases to slightly bigger values until you are at the maximum over here where the norm is approximately 2, so the, uh, we get some ln of 2, and then if you continue, the norm decreases again gradually until you are, say, over here, where the norm is approximately 1, and again you increase again. So the norm varies continuously if you circle around 1, which means that the real part of the log of z, the ln of the modulus of z, also varies continuously. So we have no problems with the real part. Okay, we didn't have any problems with the real part of the log in the case of zero as well. So there are still no problems there. What about the arguments? Well, we started approximately at pi over 4, and then if we continue to the circle over there, the argument is approximately zero. So we uh, started pi over, pi, pi over 4, we decrease to zero, and then we go further along the circle, the argument becomes slightly negative, say, to uh, minus pi over 4, and here uh, minus pi over 8, and then we increase again to 0, and we continue, we slowly increase to pi over 8, and then to pi over 4. So you see now, the argument is also first slowly uh, decreasing, decreasing, and then slowly increasing again, but varies continuously. If we are back at uh, pi over 4 and square root of 2 point, then um, we haven't jumped in the arguments. So that means that this point 1 is not a branch point of the log. If you travel around it in some way, you end up in the codomain also in the same place. So do we have any other branch points for the log? Well, we know 0 is a branch point, so 1 is not a branch point, and you can do a similar any argument for any point in the plane. However, we have still one other branch points, but it is very, very far away. It's the point at infinity. Because what happens if you circle around the point at infinity? Well, you can visualize it in terms of the Riemann sphere. So if you circle the point at, of, at infinity in some way, that means circling in the uh, uh, complex plane, in a very big circle around the origin. And whichever curve or whichever circle you take around the point at infinity, will always be mapped to a circle around the origin in a complex plane. So that means if you go around at a point at infinity, you have the same problem as when you go around the origin. And that means that the point at infinity is also uh, a branch point of the logarithm. So the logarithm has two branch points, zero and infinity. Now, how do we prevent this circling around? So what we do is the following. We uh, restrict the domain as follows. Here we have the domain, and we say you can get everywhere except here, for example, at the negative real axis. We have the point at zero and infinity, and we connect them, for example, along the negative real axis, and we call that connection a branch cut. And we say we restrict the domain to all of C except for all points at the branch cut. So you cannot cross the branch cut, you cannot access the branch cut, and our new domain will be a slightly smaller set, so we have a price to pay, we 
do not have all of C as our domain, but only the points which arguments between minus pi and pi, so not with the equalities anymore. So uh, what will then be our range? So where can we get in the codomain that's drawn over here? So we can get uh, anywhere as long as the, uh, the imaginary part, which will be the argument, will be between minus pi and pi. The real part will be the ln of the norm. So the real part can be anything, the ln of the norm of z. And the imaginary part will have to stay between minus pi and pi. And now uh, we have made our function continuous, because you cannot travel around the origin, you cannot travel around the point of infinity anymore. So our function log z is now univalued and continuous, and the only price, well, only price we have to pay is that we have to exclude a part of the domain. We have to exclude uh, a curve between connecting zero and infinity. And the most common case is to exclude the points on the negative real axis. So now we are happy again because we have a continuous log of set.